All right, so for this particular video demonstration, I'll be showing you how to create a simple program in Python. All right, um, it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's a simple Python program. Um, I'm hoping to bring across certain lessons while we're going through this particular activity though. All right, so first of all, if Python is not already installed on your computer, what you can do is open your browser, type Python, all right, um, you can say Python download. All right, so you should be seeing a link to download Python from python.org. All right, so you're going to click on that. And as you can see, the current available download version is Python 3.9.1. All right, and this is the latest version for Windows computers. All right, now I'm using a Windows. So by default, this is the one that I would download. All right, so let's say, for example, you're looking for a Linux download or a Mac OS download, you can click on these. Or let's say you're looking for another operating system. All right, so you can click on other and it will tell you what is available for the different operating systems, all right? So if you want Python for iOS, for example, that can be done if you're using um, an iOS device, all right? And there are other options. All right, but again, for me, I am using Windows, so I will just click on the download button here I would save and then install. Now I'm pretty sure that you are able to and you know how to install um, software to your devices. So I won't necessarily go through that right now, but just download and then install. All right. Once that is done, what you can do is you can use um a, a ide that comes with with python installation called idle right, you can use that to write your your python code or you could go ahead and download pycharm all right so you can download and install pycharm i have a separate video showing you how to download and install pycharm so i'll put a link to that as well in this video all right now once you download python and you download pycharm if you want to use pycharm as the ide to create your python programs then we are good to go or you can simply use the default one that comes with, with python and that's i d l e All right and this is what it looks like Alright, so once this comes up, it brings up sort of uh, a shell, right? So once this comes up, I can say file, new file, and then and then start to write my, my Python code. Alright, so I can start to write my Python code here, alright? All right, so I could easily use this one if I wanted to. Let me just save it. All right, let me save it in a particular document. Well, not particular folder. All right. So I just go to run run the module and it produces a lower all right so by default you can use id le which is this default one right here 
or as I said, you can download and install PyCharm and use PyCharm. So for us, for this demonstration, I'll be using PyCharm. All right, so I have my PyCharm installed. Open that up. I'm going to go to File. I'm going to click on New Project. Now, you can decide where you want to save the project by clicking this folder icon right here. All right. But I'll just save it in the default location, which is given here. Now, it is giving me this name by default called Python Project 1. So I'm going to change it to my circle. And the reason for that is we're going to be creating a program to calculate the circumference diameter and area of a circle based on a given radius all right so once that is done the environment the new environment is using the virtual environment all right so ensure that you have that selected all right click on create it's asking me if i want to load it in this window or a new window i'm just going to say new window All right, so once our new project load, it will give us some default code. All right, so I could run this default code now if I wanted to. So if we run this, it says I PyCharm. All right, so this is some default code that's loaded for us. I say print I PyCharm. All right, so I don't need this. So I'm going to take this out so we can delete this. So select all and then delete. All right, let me just put in the comment what the program will be about. All right, so this is our comment. All right, so this is a multi-line comment, as you can see. All right, so let's start typing some code to accept the radius from the user and calculate the diameter, circumference, and area. I'll start by typing the variable that will be storing the radius. So I'll say radius. Right, so we'll say radius is equal to, and again, the radius will be given as user input, all right? So I'm going to say input, and just let's just give a prompt a message to the user enter all right so that message will be displayed all right so we want a variable as well for the diameter circumference and area so those are the three things that we'll be calculating. All right, so for the math geniuses, when calculating the area of a circle, we say area is equal to radius raised to a power of two, now the double aster here is used in python to signify power or indices all right so radius is the base and then the two right here will be the power all right so double asterisk two means that we will be squaring radius and then we want to multiply this by pi all right now basically that is what we want to do now something that is very important is for us to indicate to python that radius will be given as integer so we type int and then put radius in a set of parentheses all right 
also for pi we need to give pi a value so we could do two things we could create a variable called pi and then set that equal to the value of pi so we could use for example 3.14159 or we could import pi from python's library all right so we can do an import so we can say import math all right so if we import the math module it will allow us to use pi from the math module all right so to use that we are going to say math dot pi right and this will give us the value of pi all right so that's our calculating area all right so let's next calculate the diameter of our circle so we're going to say Diameter is equal to two times radius. Again, let's signify that radius is an integer. All right. Next, we want to calculate the circumference. All right, now we know that to find the circumference, we typically say um, pi times two times radius, all right? Or some persons might say um, two pi r, which is the same thing because we are multiplying. So let's say two or we can even say pi times the diameter because if you look the diameter is already calculating this part of it for us right so it's pi times two times the radius but the two times the radius part is done already all right well so let's just Copy this part. So I can say math dot pi times right. Or we could simply say pi times diameter. It's the very same thing. Alright, so you can try that if you don't believe me. Instead of having two times the radius, you can have um, pi times the diameter. All right, you get the same answer. All right, now we know that when creating programs, there are three parts to all programs, no matter how complex or how simple. And it's input, process, and output. Now, we are already asking the user for input we did our processing now the next thing that is left is for us to present the output or display the output all right so to display again in python it's print so we want to print the area first so keeping it simple area is now when we're printing we must place what we are printing in Quotation, single quote or double quote can work, right? And we want to display the area. So we are displaying the calculated area, which is this, right? Next, we're going to say print. And the calculated diameter is all right. And finally, let's print the calculated circumference.
right so we want to display the circumference here now this is case sensitive so we, we wrote this variable with a lowercase c we must maintain that throughout the program once we are referring to that particular variable all right and that's it so this is our program so this is our input this is our processing and this is our output all right so let's run the program all right so we run this by clicking the play button here there's also a debug button but i'll just run to compile well interpret and then it will display what is there all right so it's asking us to enter a radius let's go with 14 press enter and you'll see where it did the calculation for us so we got the area the diameter and the circumference all right now we realize the values after the point right so and we know the more decimal the more decimal places are the more values after a point the more accurate it is all right but we want to format this to two decimal places all right so it's a very easy process in terms of formatting to two decimal places and this is very important because you might need this for future use so we want to round the value stored in area diameter and circumference we want to round those to two decimal places now python provides us with a with a function called round which is used for rounding as you suspect so we want to round the area so we'll say round and then place area in a set of parentheses now we need to specify how many places we want to round the value being stored in area to so we want to round this to two decimal places so we put we type two let's do the same thing for diameter and circumference so we round in the diameter and we want to round this to two decimal places all right same thing for circumference all right so let's run this again and see if there's a difference all right let's go with 14 still 14 press the enter key on the keyboard and now you realize that it was rounded to two decimal places All right so this video again is just to reinforce some things how to create your first program in python All right a very simple program All right it demonstrated the use of the math module from python you saw how to ask for user input All right the processing portion was demonstrated as well and you saw how to display your output and also how to round figures to a particular number of decimal places all right so that's basically it um what else you saw was how to download pycharm if you want to use pycharm as your ide i also mentioned how you could go about downloading python right so python needs to be installed before you can write python code right and that is it